What's up guys, back with another Star Wars video, and we are here with the 1.4 live stream, right? And so they're showing the banners, they're showing all the content and stuff, and some pretty exciting news has happened. So as they're showing the banners, I will go ahead and click, click play. It is muted because I'm not trying to get jumped by some copyright stuff, but it's showing the banners, right? Pretty, uh, you know, standard stuff. They always show the banners, the weapon banners, or sorry, the light cone banners. So... 1.2, or sorry, not 1.2, uh, they showed the two banners for the 1.4 update, and then they showed this, right? This is the first rerun. Now, this means a few things, right? One, right, there is six columns, so it's obviously going to be each of their light cones. Um, I don't think they said what part she was coming out for. I'm assuming it's just going to be the first one, right? It doesn't really matter, in a sense, but from here on out every version update which we are on 1.3 right now we are going into 1.4 we are going to have a rerun this means that in 1.5 we're probably going to have a jing yun rerun and then 1.6 we'll have silver wolf 1.7 we'll have locha that'll be a very interesting banner to see if locha just beats out whoever's at 1.7 or if he gets replaced and nobody summons for him so very exciting news so of course if you're excited let me know in the comments if you're going to be summoning on Zaylee's rerun or not or you're going to summon for topaz jingle whatever it may be and let's get into the rest of the video i'm going to briefly go over what we're getting so yes yes we're getting three new characters well sorry <laughs> two five-star characters one four-star character let me be more specific for people go is not new so we're getting jinglu topaz and uh guan guan fen i believe is how i pronounce her name um very funny looking character um we'll be excited to pull her um i just clocked in that she's on zaylee's banner so i guess she is on the second half then and not the first half interesting i'm actually kind of surprised that they're making you wait for the second half of the banner um you know it, it is pretty late I've, i pretty much have not slept uh at all so i do apologize for that mishap but you know Zayla is in the second half i feel like that pretty much confirms it because they won't have her on the first banner without um with her right interesting 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 anyway if, if for some reason Zayla is with jingle that'd be really funny because she will be on one of the banners and not the other one but regardless of that right doesn't truly truly matter uh light cones yada yada i'm i'm excited bro like i actually was getting really excited during the live stream i'm tr let me skim to oh there was a there was a weird ad where like they got frozen because of jingle really really weird i'm not gonna play it just in case but really interesting ads so there is this thing called ethereum wars and if you've ever played pokemon it's going to be rather similar you catch the enemies and use them to battle they have skills basic attacks ultimates it's pretty much like normal star rail but you're using the enemies and there is even a like pokemon championship thing i don't know it, it looks fun right pretty basic you just capture the enemies there's like three different types it's like rock paper scissors right Pretty basic stuff. Looks super cool. You fight a bunch of characters. Very exciting stuff, right? And then um, I will style. I'll play this for now. They have this march. Also, there's going to be codes in the description. I will get them um, for you guys. But they animated this march model a little too well. Like, extremely well. It's like kind of eerie how like fluid they got the march model. Considering I'm so used to like their chibi models or like... You know the cutscene models not being like super like i'm not gonna say ai but you you get what i mean right it looks it looks super nice right super super cool super cool right here so there is a nether simulated universe <laughs> update more end game content bro genshin is on their hands and knees crying right now so we are going to get a bunch of cool little simulated universe stuff pretty much imagine everything upgrading like heroes upgrading blessings upgraded um they said something about potentially unlocking these things so we'll have to see more about that in the future but it'll be stuff like the big lotto ticket like let me pause it real quick and go slightly back to about right yeah right here so it says increase all characters damage by eight percent including those who have already been sp spent right for cosmic fragments 
pretty nice. It's like an upgraded one. There's like a big lotto ticket that doesn't um, hurt your characters after you uh, are, get it destroyed. There's also these where they buff as well. Apply one sword to two, max 20, level 29. Very interesting stuff. I'm here for it, right? More end game content is very, very nice. Helps keep the game alive. They're doing a good job. I will say they're doing an extremely, extremely good job. So we have the Pokemon update. We have the Simile Universe update. We have story recaps. So if you miss something in a story, you can go back and read it. You cannot change what you pick, though, for dialogue options, unfortunately. And then we have a funny... Um, uh, I forgot the, the name of it. It was... Um, does it say on here it doesn't it's some some uh restaurant in the uk or fast food place in the uk um i'm not from the uk so i don't remember the name of it or know too much about it so it's up to you guys to figure that out it should be on their twitter if you want to check that out uh you can get physical prizes though i'm pretty sure um there's one of the codes if you don't want to go to the description but the other three will be there and then um i think i might have skipped it on accident i think i did Pretty much, we are getting to double. All oh, right, it's right here. Uh, for, uh do, 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 do. there it is. Okay, we're getting double relics, and we are also getting the planner fissure event. I <laughs> YouTube scrubbing doesn't want to work right now, but yeah, we're getting the planner fissure and the pretty much just relics, right? We're getting just double relic drop rate for a bunch of stuff. So big, big W, but that's pretty much it for the update. It's pretty much just whatever story they add which is the whole both uh jolt awake from a winter dream event funny pokemon funny simulated universe and then um the other like double drop rates events uh i don't know if i said this before but we're also getting like the ticket login for a free multi but other than that, that's pretty much it um seems a tad underwhelming compared to last one just because we had like a bunch of story we had um, a bunch of companion quests we had like all this stuff i think we have one companion quest with jing lu actually now that i think about it but compared to the last update i don't know if the new simulated universe update will be as big as the swarm but we'll have to see other than that that'll pretty much be it for the video let me know in the comments if you're excited for the first rerun if you're a little worried because uh if you did miss characters you're gonna have to compete with uh who do i want to summon out of the three characters of a patch instead of the two characters so you know, that is going to be a little rough. Um, I'm not looking forward to it because I really wanted Zele, but obviously I'd rather have other characters that are released around this time. Um, it's going to be rather rough for players when Melocha comes back, considering how valuable he is. So let me know if you're excited for reruns or you wish they waited a bit longer. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this update in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe for more Star Wars content. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.